Wednesday, everybody. Homebrew 62 coming at you this time with a Founders Day Breakfast Stout clone-ish. It's kind of my version of the clone. So um, it has a little less coffee in it, but other than that, I actually uh, followed the recipe to the to the T. Um, I've never brewed with coffee before, and I've never brewed with uh, chocolate and uh, so anyway and I, and I kind of I left a little bit of the coffee out because I heard it's coffee can be a little overpowering especially in a stout like this where you have other roasted malts in there um, it has a very pleasant roasted aroma kind of a sweet I don't know if I, can, I, I think I can smell some of the chocolate in there I, I dissolved chocolate into the uh, the coffee I added uh, chocolate uh, I think like four ounces right at flame out and then I added uh, I think it was another four ounces I brewed it with just I uh, just with warm water uh, not hot because I heard uh, you know the oils you know if you if you boil it like you know you are percolated or whatever it brings the oils out which can defeat your head retention but I'm not really I don't really care about the head retention so much and this uh, a stout I mean you know you don't want to look you know you don't want it to look like a Weizen and uh, so anyway I, I'm really I didn't really care about that too much but I did I made it in one of those French presses you know with with uh, warm water and I let it set for a couple of hours you know kind of stew and brew and all that and then I, uh, I put my chocolate in there Hershey it's actually Hershey's powdered baking chocolate um, unsweetened I think it's unsweetened or semi-sweet chocolate and uh, kind of put those together in the secondary so in the primary I put like about four ounces and also in the secondary I put chocolate a little bit more chocolate and some uh, coffee so uh, but anyway very very nice roasted kind of I think it's either I'm imagining the chocolate or it's actually present in the aroma but it's really nice so a tan, kind of a tan color head there uh remaining just to, you know maybe half a finger just enough to tell you it's a beer uh with stouts though eh, you don't want that much foam uh cheers everybody let me go in and take a taste test it's got a nice it's got a nice medium to heavy body uh very good has a uh you can taste. I think you can taste the coffee, the roasted notes in there from the from the other grains. Uh, it's got a little chocolate finish on the end. Um, really pretty nice. Uh, really, really nice for the winter if you're in the northern hemisphere. Uh, it's, it's February. Actually, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Uh, I'm, I'm sure most of you won't be seeing this on Valentine's Day, but it is. So I guess thus the chocolate. See, the chocolate in the Valentine's Day goes right together with this video. But uh, but I wanted to get that up uh, and, and load it up for you. It does have a really, you know, there's almost no hop presence in here. I think the hop, the hops were, I think Willamette was in there and, and another one that is not, you know, just, they're just really in the background. But uh very nice this is probably the best stout i've made to date uh not to say that i've made really great stouts <laughs> I've, had, I've i've been experimental with them i made a hoppy stout a columbus stout and that was pretty good and then i made a couple of two or three different versions of breakfast stout this is probably uh i would say this is probably my best one going in let me try to get you another description i'll wrap this thing up Yeah, it's a, I would say medium body. It's going to be good with age. This is only about, it's been in the bottle. Uh, I think I mentioned a, a bottle condition, but it's been in the bottle probably two, no, it aged two weeks. I didn't taste it for two. It's probably been maybe a month in the bottle, and it's actually getting better with age. I tasted one right away, of course, at the two-week mark. I had to have one, <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is really good. And, and then about a week later, it's funny how stouts do but uh, about a week later I could tell a difference in the in the flavor how it uh, kind of settled out and uh, was less rough around the edges and now it's uh, it's really mellowing but uh, but anyway just wanted to load this one up here I've got my next one is going to be uh, an English bitter that I put together on the fly and uh, that'll probably be my next uh, video 
uh, that one will be ready in about two weeks. So uh, anyway, cheers, everybody. Uh, happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Homebrew Wednesday to you. Uh, this is a Tuesday, but I'm putting this up. Uh, ho hopefully we'll see you next time on the videos. Cheers.